This is Jim with Diesel Geek, and today we're going to show you how to install the P2015 fix for the black, fully black uh, intake manifold that's really found almost solely on cars outside of North America. There might be a few cars in North America that use this manifold, but in general, this manifold is only used on cars outside of North America and generally from 2010 and newer. So anyway, the only way that this bracket goes on, unfortunately, with this manifold is with the manifold off the car. So if you have the 2015 um, fault code, you're going to have to take the manifold off of the engine before you can install the fix because the fix goes on in between the engine and the manifold and there's no way that you can get to um, where this part installs without having the manifold off the car. So again, this is outside of North America. Um, on cars generally from 2010 and newer. Um, anyway, uh, so this is the manifold. This is the front of the car. So you have three screws that hold the V157 motor on and you're going to take the lowest screw out and that's right here and you use a T30 um, Torx driver to remove the screw. So anyway, this is the fix right here and it has a little W recess and the W recess is just going to go right here on this nub. It's going to just install right there on the nub. And so you're just going to <clears throat> insert it onto the nub like that. It just goes straight down. And then you're going to slide this over the top plate. Later ones will not have a top plate. It's all going to be one piece on the next run. So it'll look like this. It just won't have this screw right here. So anyway, once you get it in place, then you put this, the T30 screw back in the hole, go down, and then start it by, by hand so you're not cross-threading into the plastic. And then um, run the screw down. And now you're going to be looking on the early ones, like this one, you're going to be looking for the top plate to be square with the body of the part. So you just want to make sure that's the case when you finish tightening the screw. Make sure both screws are tight. What you're looking for is that you want this to be flush with the motor arm. And once it's flush with the motor arm, the part is installed correctly. And then, so the install is done with the part. So what you're going to want to do before you put it all back together is you're going to want to plug in the plug for the V157 motor. You're going to try to plug it back in before you install the, the manifold. And you want to clear the fault if you can, just to make sure that it's, it's installed right, but in general, there's really no way around getting it on right. It, it goes on only one way, it can't go on too far or not far enough, and you're just checking to make sure this is flush right here. And once that's uh, flush and it's down all the way and all the screws are tightened, then the part is installed correctly, and that's it.